We make the strings louder. I'm gonna get you massage. Get up. Look at you double cupping that iced tea. <laughs> that lean. Boom. Yeah, good job. Eric, yeah, so what are, what are we making right now? This. Trevor's custom 3T5. Ooh. What's the, it going on? The expensive 3T5. What's it going a on? Supra or something? Yeah. What's that? A primer Supra. This, are you sure this isn't? What shade of primer is this? Look, he's, he's putting more primer gray in it right now. Yeah, what color primer is this? Red. Oh, look at that. Some more primer. I love primer. Hey, what are you doing to my primer? So you guys have ever wondered how they mix paint? So basically they have a wall of all of these random toners. And then so right here it has weights. So you take like the fine aluminum and you do like this weight of it. And then see, there's 8.2 of that, black of that. What's that? And you do it all by weight. There it is, guys. Super color. Look how pretty. So this is this is gonna be the color right there. Light pink. Hopefully you guys are ready for it. Give her a little shaky shaky. 38 year old uh, paint shaker. Eric, now what are we doing? Your magic. The magic color? The oh, magic is this the one color. you had the overnight from Japan? Yes. I'm excited. So that is the, that's the transparent coat. Yes, sir. That's going over that ugly base coat and it's gonna make the nice, pretty Lexus infrared red. Maybe I'll spray it out nice, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I'm just, I like this double cup iced tea. Yeah. So see how it's really transparent? It's not really that transparent. It is, that's actually. Gonna, that's gonna add some color, though. Damage? Yeah, you can have it was a heart cheap. Attack. It was cheap today, because we're only doing gems. Oh, yeah. Next, next week though, that's when she gets expensive. Look at these T-shirts. DSPaint.com. Oh wait. Oh wait, yeah. <laughs> let me, I, hey, let me know if you guys would like to buy paint off the internet from Eric. Eric will mix your paint. EricThePaintDick.com. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So it's been it's been a solid two two and a half months since I've been, since this thing's pretty much been covered up. Um, so today, uh, one of the things that I need to do to it before I do anything else is you can see there's these couple little spots going around it that are down to bare metal. And so the issue with that is uh, when you go to put like even like not the base coat, but the I have like a sealer that goes on it, but the sealer isn't gonna like that. Um, so basically what I'm gonna have to do is hit that stuff with a little bit of uh, more primer, um, just because like I said, the, the way it'll, it'll kind of like react to it and it'll like just kind of look a little weird when we go put that on. Um, so yeah, basically what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm using a, it's like a high build primer, but it's a direct to metal high build primer. Where did that, uh, it's somewhere in this cabinet, it's that stuff right there. But uh, it's a direct to metal, so that means it can go to bare metal uh, up until that point. Uh, you know, I, on all the other stuff, you can see how it kind of layers, it goes primer, and then it goes to like the dark primer, and that's actually epoxy primer. Um, so I epoxied the whole thing after I had pieces of it blasted, and then I went all the way down to bare metal. 
Um, I mean, it, it's been it's been definitely a process. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoy the color that we picked for this thing. Um, but yeah, so before I could uh, actually go th go through with it and spray like paint the door jams and everything, I need to you know primer those things and then make sure that there's no other little bare metal spots on the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, load a little bit of primer in the gun, clean it up, all the little spots, even like some of the edges on the top, make sure that those uh, aren't any bare metal. And then uh, so yes, yeah, so you guys are getting another primer video before we get to any paint. Alright guys, so it was uh, at the beginning of this video, it was not my intent to basically respray the whole car, but uh, when I was kind of walking around the car and wiping it down with the, with the microfiber, I was using some of this, uh, it's like a wax and grease remover, it's like MX190, and uh, anyhow, so it kind of shines it up a little bit when you do that, and I could see some more scratches in it. Uh, not necessarily like super deep scratches or anything, but how I finished this thing off was I, I dry sanded it. I dry block sanded it with 320 with guide coat and so uh, it's pretty, uh, I mean really super straight but the only thing is there's a little bit uh, more scan sand scratch than, than I would have liked. Um, it looked like a little bit of the 180 grit kind of surfaced up through that just because it's been sitting for like two months or so without actually being like sealed or whatever so it like essentially like dried a little bit more and shrunk up a little. Um, but yeah, so the, the plan, well I, I, I guess the plan is now, since I did that, is I'm going to wet sand the whole car with 600 grit because uh, basically that's just going to barely, barely fill in those things. I, I reduced the, the primer down pretty thin so it, it, flows, flew, it, it flowed out very nice and I'm not actually really building up very much other than a really thin layer. And, uh, but yeah. But yeah, after, I'm going to let this thing sit over the weekend and then come back and wet sand it with uh, the 600 grit. And then hopefully we should, uh, I'll probably go ahead and do the door jams though, get the door jams sprayed. And then, I don't know, actually I probably should wet sand the whole car because I will be dusting a little bit on the outside. But uh, yeah, that's going to be uh, it's gonna be it for today at the shop at least. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed, I guess, another super primer video because that's, I guess, what this turned into. So that, that was not my intentions, but, uh, but here we are, primed again. Alright guys, as you've seen in the beginning of this video, I, uh, I did pick out the color. Uh, I'd previously talked a lot about this, uh, this blue, but uh, I don't know, ever since I first seen this red on a, uh, on a Lexus, is like an ISF or like an RCF or whatever, it's a uh, 3T5, it's a factory Lexus color. Um, I mean, it, it just, it looks crazy out in the sun, and if you guys want to see the video of, uh, of me actually kind of going over all these colors and asking you guys which one, uh, a lot of people picked that other like green looking thing that we had, but I didn't personally like that one. Um, but I really like this red, I really like this blue too. But uh, you know, there is, there's two supers hitting, sitting here. So I was editing this video and uh, and I realized I didn't have a rant in here. So, uh, and, and the video wasn't even 10 minutes long, so here we go. Um, but yeah, apologize to the Supra. I'm sorry I haven't worked on you in like two and a half months. Uh, this giveaway car just, just kind of took priority. This thing, uh, I, I was planning on trying to paint the Supra before the end of this thing, but uh, I don't know. It uh, just just took a little bit longer than, than we initially anticipated. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely in love with uh, 
list this car and the way it turned out. Uh, I know a lot of you, you super guys or super followers didn't really follow along with this build, but uh, I don't know, I, I consider it like a little bit more practice. Um, you know, I really like what we did with the wiring harness and how we really cleaned up all that other stuff on here. And this is kind of, you know, what, what basically what's gonna go in here, just a little bit crazier. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty stoked for that. I uh, definitely need to start ordering parts for this thing soon, but uh, the the paint that's going on here is the is the transparent uh, candy, and uh, I, I will be painting that myself. But, uh, but yeah, anyhow, we're gonna go ahead and uh, and paint the door the door jams next. Um, let it sit for a couple of days, and then and, and like the backs of the bumpers and the back sides of the fenders and all that stuff. And since it is a candy coat, and you gotta be really really careful, you know, with I don't know, I guess, so like you see, like this would be like a good example. So if, if I paint it right here and I don't do it even, like this spot right here could get darker because this paint from here could flow into here and then kind of away from right here. So this might be light, this might be dark. Um, you could kind of see, you can't really see it because Eric did a pretty good job of painting this, but you could see a little run on the back right there. You could see how that run got darker uh, because of the transparent coat. Um, and it, it basically got thicker right there because it ran. So you gotta be real, real, real careful with that. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty stoked to be working on this thing again. I, I need to reorder 2J, I need to reorder a bunch of other random stuff. I need to order a uh, turbo manifold. Um, basically, I, I just need to order a bunch of stuff. But uh, yeah, now that the giveaway is all you know over and done with, we still have some orders we're shipping out. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that quick little, I mean, not super quick build, but uh, Fun little build, came together uh, really nice, but uh, but yeah, I, I, I'm like, I wish I could keep this thing, but I'm like, okay, well now, now that gives me more motivation to finish this thing and have a 2J in something that I actually was supposed to have a 2J. But uh, let me know if you guys think I made the right ch right choice on the color. Like I said, there's, there's two supers sitting here and there's two colors that I like. So uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens with this thing. Maybe some surprises or, you know, but <laughs> Anyhow, appreciate you guys watching, uh, sticking with me, you know, through the, the other builds and stuff. I'm, uh, you know, it, it's winter build season. We got to go to SEMA. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to be doing, if I'm going to be spending a whole lot of parts on, a lot of money on the parts right now. Um, probably I'll just focus on cleaning up all the pieces that I know I'm going to keep, you know, like the brakes, the subframes, um, you know, interior, all that other stuff out of this other car, get that thing kind of out of the way and you know get it broken down get all the pieces i know for sure are going to go in here maybe get the interior going and then uh you know wait maybe wait till after SEMA or the beginning of the year to order uh you know the big boy parts for this thing and uh i don't know we'll see what happens uh i mean I don't know. see you guys later